Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys the good cages and the bad cages for hamsters. First up, we got the bin cage. These are really amazing. They're, you can get a really big one, but you have to cut something else and put some mesh there so your hamster can breathe. But I say these are good ones. Next up, we have an aquarium cage. I am not really sure about this one. Um, they're actually used for fish, but you can also use them for hamsters. I'm not sure if you use them for reptiles. Um, I'm not, I don't know anything about reptiles, but I know you're supposed to close the top because hamsters are really good escapers. Um, I say this one is good, but you have to get a really big one. Next up, we're moving on to the bad cages. Now it's critter trails. Oh my gosh, guys, I hate these cages. There is not enough room for the bedding. There's not enough room for your wheel if you have a Syrian. There's not room for anything. There's not even room for toys, not a bowl, or even a water bottle, a big one. Oh my gosh, guys, these are just not okay. I really don't like these. Moving on to the next one. Um, Now it's leveled cages. I am not okay with these. First of all, you don't need levels, and second of all, th there's no space for bedding. You need, like, at least 10 inches of bedding for one hamster, and they don't have room to run. And, guys, the fact that this one says starter habitat, I don't think that's okay. Okay, next one, we have this one. I'm not sure what the name is, but this is humongous. It's wide. It's amazing. I would recommend you to guys get this one, but I will see you guys later. Goodbye!